I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 322, where I'm going to show you or explain to you what this changes data import location pop-up means. So there is in Quantrix a pop-up that happens when you're working with data import. When you do certain things that you'll get this pop-up and you'll scratch your head going, huh, what does this mean? Well, I'm here to explain what it means. I have here a model and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data and import just some data using data import. This is new functionality. Well, I say new functionality, but it really came, uh, I want to say maybe two years into Quantrix uh, ago that uh, data connectivity or data import uh, was brought to us and huge improvement over data import, L like it a lot. But what I'm doing here is I'm going out and I'm simply pulling in a sample data table that I have here from my database. And uh, let's say I had year in here that I was bringing over like this and I was bringing over my month. Fair enough. And then I had some values. But let's say that I also had within this matrix another category brought from another matrix and we'll call it metrics so metric one comes over here now let's bring in our values into this matrix from this database and you can see that it goes ahead and it gives me an item it creates an item category here because this is indeed sourced from this data import matrix and everything's fine and dandy i could go ahead and i could uh, add more metrics to this if i wanted but again, the only metric that's being populated by this data import is this metric one. And, you know, it works beautifully. It works just like we would expect within Quantrix. Well, one thing you may run into is what if I went ahead and I was in maybe this matrix and I del deleted metric one. Then I get this pop up that says change data import location. One or more of items in, is specified as a location for import data. If you wish to proceed, you must specify an alternate location. To me, this just is a little bit confusing. Please ignore this error right here, or this option right here. This was actually in another uh, example I was working on. But I just don't like this message. It's just confusing to me. I deleted this and I'm confused by it. I just want to delete it. Why can't I delete it? Well, what's happening is this is saying that, hey, you actually have a metric. In metric one, it's actually being populated by values from the data import matrix. Now, I know you don't get that out of this message box, in my opinion. So it's saying, instead of it being in metric one, where do you want these values from data import matrix to be placed? Is it in metric two, metric three, or metric four? What also might help shed some light on this error and explain it is if I go over here into my cog and barrel and I start to edit my data connection, and then I go here to edit it further or to configure the import options, if you will, it says that, I need to put the imported data in metric one here. Okay, so this setting has been generated by my clicking and dragging when I have these linked categories. And so when I go ahead and I try to delete metric one, it doesn't know where to put it because metric one no longer exists. So it's asking me where to put it. So if I select metric three, I would click OK. And then I'm able to delete metric two, and you can see that metric three was updated here from metric one. So again, if, if you have some data import uh, functionality going on, and maybe you have an a category that's linked from another category, and it is indeed where the imported data is to reside within your data import matrix, and you try to delete it, you're going to get this error right here as we can see and so then you have to specify where you want to place it now again i think this 
this needs a little bit of improvement and actually I'm talking with Quantrix here in a, a week or so to give them some direct feedback on how this needs to be improved. So I suspect that, you know, sometime next year we will have uh, an improved functionality that won't be as confusing to the end user because, yeah, it was really confusing to me when I started using data import and I started getting this uh, error or this pop-up. Uh, it was a head scratcher. But I hope that what I've walked you through here today will be of benefit to you and will help you so you don't scratch your head as much and will really help you love Quantrix because really, I love Quantrix. I really want to make you a Quantrix master and I hope that you will ask me any question that you may have about Quantrix because I would love to answer it. So send me an email at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. It's for free that I do that. And I hope that you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.